All right, guys, I had them remove a few packages because they wouldn't fit in my car. It's like big boxes and I have like a teeny tiny car. So I had them remove a few packages because they gave me too many and I was not about to sit here and not be able to see. Also, it's another far location. This particular route is $98, I believe. And my first drop off, I think, is 27 miles away. <laughs> not okay but it's only 36 deliveries. So I'm just gonna knock it out and then probably never do this again. I'm kidding, I'll do it again, but this this um, distance is not it. So they need to come better and come more correct because nah, this is crazy. The thing that's crazy is there's a delivery um, station or location out in this area. They have their own location area. So why are the packages all the way over here? I mean, I clearly don't know how deliveries work then if I'm asking that, but I'm just like, y'all have a station over there. Like somehow get these over there and then deliver them. That would make more sense. Anyways, I think we're about to leave. Okay, when we're off, everyone like literally races out of there like crazy people. But we're off to the races guys. Um, I know I started this video a little weird, but if you're new here, hi guys, my name is Rissa, aka Rissa Explains All, where I go over business manifesting and side hustles, and today I'm doing an Amazon shift, as you can see if you clicked on this video. I do have a few other Amazon videos on my channel, so check those out as well, but right now we are doing a 90, hold on, speed bump, $98 batch, um, first delivery is 27 miles away. Now, all the other deliveries are also in this area that I'm going to, but um, this is the second time. This is probably because I had a few free rides, so this is probably why, but, uh, but anyways, we're gonna drive there and then I'll check back in with you guys. Also guys, I totally forgot to talk about this, but um, <laughs> I don't know why. I, first of all, I don't know why this is something to comment on someone's video when I'm just doing a ride along, but apparently this is like bothersome to a lot of people. I always get the comment, you really turned off your car? You really turned off your car? You guys, I live in Los Angeles, okay? And I don't know if you guys know, but there, I mean, there's crime everywhere, but the crime's a little more heightened here because there's more people here. The population is higher. So yes, I'm going to turn off my car depending on the location. Like right here, I just did not because the house was close enough that I didn't need to. However, if I feel like the house is too far away from my car or if it's an apartment, I'm going to turn my car off and deliver the package because I'm not going to have my car stolen because I decided to be, I, I don't know if it's considered lazy or considered, I don't know, trying to save my car. But I'm going to be safe and lock my car every time, guys, um, if I feel like I need to lock my car and turn the car off. So I don't know why everyone is so pressed in the comments about that all the time. It's so funny to me because I'm like, there's so many videos of Uber drivers or delivery drivers where they show them dropping off a delivery order or whatever and in two seconds, guys, in two seconds, their car is getting stolen because they left the keys in the car and they left it running. And that will not be me. So, if you guys are wondering why I turn off my car, for instance, we're about to drop off in an apartment right now. It's because I don't want my car to be stolen, okay? And they will do it. They will do it. People are always lurking and peeping. You gotta be on your P's and Q's, guys. So I'm just addressing that because I always see that in the comments and I'm always like, you guys are funny because I'm not about to leave my car running <laughs> for someone to come steal it. Not for Amazon, no honey. And if it ruins my engine, it ruins my engine. The T is, is that I bought a cheap 
beater car just for deliveries. And if this beater car goes bad, then guess what? It's a beater car. And that was the purpose of me buying the beater car, okay? That's the end of my rant, guys. I just wanted to let you know that I will not be not turning off my car when I'm doing deliveries if I feel like it's not safe. Anyways, we're at the fifth delivery and I'm gonna go deliver it now. Yay. <laughs> Stairs. It's okay. I gotta get work up in it anyway. You guys, I literally went up those stairs and it's dark now, so that's crazy. It's about to be daylight savings, that's why. I have another delivery in this apartment complex. It's just right down here though. And I already found the package, but guys, like I said in my last video, it says medium box. So medium box to me, I'm thinking like, you know, medium sized box. But no, it's this. A one-hander? No, that's not medium to me. But that's why it's helpful to look for the next package before you get to the next location because and also to know that sometimes the medium packages are actually small because I don't know why they put that. It doesn't make any sense, but anyways, we're gonna go, let's see what it says, five, two, seven. Okay, I might just park right up here. Okay guys, I'm on to the next location. Hopefully the next locations are just houses and not apartments, because I really don't want to deal with apartments today. Oh, also before I go and drop this off, they said this is a large box. This is not a large box. Why would they put that in a small box? Not that hard, guys. Okay, let me keep the camera rolling. box continue let's see if it's really a small box one is a medium box guys okay I'm gonna knock these out I'm on ride number eight I have 36 packages in total so about 29 left 28 left I don't know y'all do the math um so we're gonna finish these and I'm gonna check back in once I get sorry I'm gonna check back in once I get closer to the end of my route and if anything else crazy happens <laughs> okay yeah this is not creepy Wow. It's a house, but it's like in the cut. Could be like bobcats back here. You just don't know, you know? Scary. Okay, I'm gonna park right up here. <laughs> so these people know I'm here. <laughs> Hi. outside because I was like hey just want to make sure people ain't know I'm not here to be crazy back up the scary hill we go I'm sure most people know they're expecting a package but when someone shows up in like their regular car and we don't have any like Amazon stickers or anything on our cars because we're flex drivers I'm sure some people are probably like who the freak is this and why are you at my front door because the last guy <laughs> I looked up and he's like staring out of, out of his garage. And I was like, okay, that's frightening. But he was probably like, why are you in my driveway? And then he's like, oh, because you're delivering my package. Well, people do know their packages are coming. So 
Um, this guy, I just pulled into this neighborhood and this guy, like, I was literally about to get out of the car and he's knocking on my window and I was like, um, he's like, yeah, I just looked out of my phone and saw that you were about to pull up, so I started to come outside. And I was like, okay, well, you just scared me, okay, because I didn't know you were gonna knock on the door in the dark. <laughs> Good to know that they can see us coming. I didn't know if they could. I figured, but you just, I don't know. You just don't know these apps, you know? You don't know what's going on. So... Now you guys know they can see us coming with their packages. Anyways, like I keep saying, I'll check back in at the end of this video. You guys, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. He's literally in his window. Like, I just delivered your package, guy. That's crazy. Last order, it is 8.42. So even with the other three packages, not on my itinerary, I still finished 20 minutes before 9. Or I'm sorry, 9.15. So I still finish early, I'm going to head back. 25 minutes, not bad, because the traffic's a little bit less at this time of night, but it was a pretty easy route. Um, it's just people, I guess, aren't aware that they're getting packages, so I saw a lot of people like coming to their doors, their windows, being like, what the heck, which like, rightfully so, be more aware of what you've ordered and what's coming to your door because if not then it makes it weird for the drivers and then we get sketched out and it's just not a good time but yeah so that was happening a lot but other than that it was easy $98 I'll post at the end of this video when my solo app um, confirms how much miles and how much um, how many miles I did and things like that um, which like I say in every video guys if you don't have that app download it now um, you get to know the app helps you track mileage expenses um, it you know compares your earnings to others to other people's earnings in your area let you know how much you're making on average per hour stuff like that so it's a really good app um, and it's good too because then you don't have to get all your stuff together at the end of the year for taxes. It's kind of in that app. Like you still have to get your stuff together, but like you have a breakdown and an estimate of what you may or may not owe for the end of the year, which is really cool. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, I'm going to drive on back to my house and that's pretty much the end of the video. Like I said, just stay after this clip and, and you'll see my earnings plus like mileage and all of that fun stuff. Pretty much is it on my end here. Um, here's my earnings. Okay guys, so like I said at the beginning of this video, this route was $98. It was probably about 60 to 70 miles round trip. Um, for some reason, I turned off my mileage tracker on solo, so make sure to not do that when you download the app, guys, because you want to make sure to track all your mileage. So I do apologize for that, but um, on the left is my payment from Amazon. On the right is solo, so you can see it does keep track and up to date. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.